Alright, howdy guys. So I'm going to start something new. This is going to be a series uh, of lower level games, and I'm going to take them slow and commentate and sort of point out all the mistakes and all the points where certain players could have played better, and hopefully this will be like an instructive series. So high level players will probably find this series really boring. Uh, you know, probably don't want watch it, but if you want to, that's fine. So this game is between Ultra Cool and Dar, and we'll probably see a bunch of Ultra Cool replays for the first couple of these because he sent me a whole bunch, and I'm not sure if anybody else has them. Okay, so this is unusual. We see, uh, we see Ultra Cool is coming. Well, let, let's keep going. Ultra Cool is coming for this wall cluster, and Dar is coming for this wall cluster. Um, Okay, a couple things to comment on. Dar has were beasts. Uh, were beasts are okay. Um, they're really they're they're pretty unusual though, and it's usually it's usually just better to start with an Amazon or a Swift Claw, um, especially against fire. Were beasts might be better against shadow, I think, but especially against fire, were beasts are not really good. Um, for much except stalling. Um, we also see that Dara has come to this wall cluster, which, uh, the pros are that it's closer to get to, and he has access to tier 2. Um, the cons are that after he hits the, gets this well, he cannot well up anymore until he gets to another well cluster. Usually, you want to take, uh, on a large map like this, usually you're probably going to take two wells before you go tier 2, maybe even more. Because um, usually you want to delay tier 2 as long as possible and take more wells. So by taking this well, he sort of locked himself in, and now he has to achieve more map control if he wants to get more wells. And if Ultra Cool locks him out of the map, then Dar will be forced to get an early tier 2, and Ultra Cool could get a power well advantage that way. Ultra Cool is coming this way. Um, so the advantages of coming to this map are that he has access to another wall and tier 2. Um, the disadvantages are that this is actually harder to, to bend because of this uh, wall. Um, if he forgets about it or leaves it alone, Dar can come over here, build the wall, spawn archers, and kill uh, stuff over here. Um, it also takes longer to get to. So the most common place that players will go on this map is they will come to this wall cluster and to this wall cluster. The reason is because that's basically it takes basically the same time to come to here as it does to come to here. Also, if you take these wells, you can now have three wells that you can sort of get at any point in time, and uh, yeah, so you can't be locked out of wells. You can only be locked out of monuments, which is also it's it's also critical. You don't want to be locked out of monuments, but it's usually a little bit worse to be locked out of a well because if you build a monument. Uh, and if you build a tier 2 monument, uh, you know, a couple seconds later than your opponent, you're usually going to be fine. If you know what you're doing. Okay, so you've got Scavenger chasing Werebeast. Uh, this is sort of the problem with the Werebeast, is that the Scavenger will, uh, eat these guys. Um, but it looks like he's just teasing him. These Sun Striders, I'm not really sure why they're there. Uh, looks like they're coming over here to attack. This is good, um, and we see Dar has gone Stonekin, and this scavenger will probably take care of these werebeasts. Um, okay, so let's take a quick note about this attack. This attack would be a lot stronger if, instead of taking this well, he had taken one of these wells, and then he had built, let's say, a mortar tower. And if he had done that, this attack would be a lot stronger, and Dar would be punished pretty heavily for going tier 2 immediately. Um, so that, that's just one way this attack could have been better. But not everybody carries Mortar Tower, um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume Ultra Cool doesn't have Mortar Tower. The Scavenger is still taking out Werebeasts. Um, yeah, but just like Lone Scavengers by themselves are not super influential. Okay, we see a Stone Tempest here, um, and the Werebeasts die. The Scavenger should probably want to run and just take map control. Because Stone Tempests are really good against M units, but they're not good against uh, buildings. So, because he won't have enough power to generate a large enough army, 
Ultra Cool should be able to take more walls. He does take a well here. Um, but in my opinion, he should have grabbed a well up here so he can get more wells. Um, these died to the orb, by the way, but they did a fair amount of damage. Um, as I was saying, Ultra Cool should, instead of taking this well, he should have run away with the scavenger and taken like a well cluster here or a well cluster here so he has access to more wells. Um, this Fire Sworn is going to die, uh, except Dara was microing poorly and he's not shooting him. And he's still not shooting him, instead he's using this useless healing thing. Um, so this unit might actually die. Uh, we see there's a Burrower coming over here, it looks like he's going to grab a well and then try and launch an attack somewhere. Um, it looks like this Stone Tempest is going to die simply because of pure microing. This healing ability is almost never useful. Um, maybe there's a- okay, that was a great eruption. The Shaman was worth 75 power, so by erupting you took out the Shaman and you did a little extra damage to the Stone Tempest. Um, at this point the Stone Tempest is low enough health that Ultra Cole can erupt him. Um, let's also talk about Ultra Cool's power right now. He has 300 power, so some of that he should be going tier 2 maybe, um, or getting more wells. And his opponent, his opponent does not have so much power. But his opponent has three wells, Ultra Cool has two, so his opponent is up on power wells. Uh, and Ultra Cool can't punish him because Ultra Cool is still tier 1. So it's generally a bad idea to have that much power just sitting in your wells. Um, this cliffing situation could get nasty, uh, because Razor Shards, um, and we see Ultra Cool is now going for more power walls, that's good. There's maneuvering around with the Burrower. Uh, he should be careful though, because if he just randomly spawns a power wall, this Burrower is like fixing to attack him. Yeah, so he's, he's fixing. It, Dar is very easily tele telegraphing that he plans to spam burrowers. Um, this scavenger should have come this way to slow him down, and then he should spam. He should spawn a skyfire drake. So this this scavenger should be attacking him and spawning a skyfire drake because fire uh, stonekins pretty much their only attack um, that's going to be useful spawning at the base is going to be a bunch of burrowers. So, you should slow them down and make a Skyfire Drake. Over here, we see there's also a Skyfire Drake to take out the Razor Shard, and we've got Spirit Hunters. Yeah, so there comes more Burrowers. Um, the Spirit Hunters was not very useful because they did nothing except provoke a Ravage, and Ravage is cheaper. I don't know what he is doing all by himself. We've got a Glacier Shell, but this wall is probably going to drop soon because of that. Um, and this scavenger's... I don't know what he's doing. Um, ultra cool something healed. Um, so the Stormgrim player, Dar, should cobble trick this, but it appears he's not. Um, so this dropped for literally no reason. Um, we also... okay. Right here. The Burrowers should hit the well. Because... but they're hitting the Lowerish Knight instead, so that's bad. Because the Burrowers need just a couple hits to drop the well. If um, if Ultra Cool kobolds it, then maybe they can attack the Lowerish. It's still generally a bad idea. Just hit the well. Just hit the well and make Ultra Cool spend his power defending that well. Um, this Skyfire Drake is attacking over here. Um, we've got a Freeze, so, and the Kobold Trick, so that's good. This well might actually be a save. We've got these units that are doing nothing. Where did the Skyfire Drake go? Okay, the Skyfire Drake is coming over here to attack them. Um, okay, okay. These Sun Shredders should be doing something more with their lives, though. Uh, we see the well starting to get hit again. Uh, good Cobalt Trick. Um, Ultra Cool should hit the Burrower, and then he should take out the Spirit Hunters. Uh, no, hit, I mean, he should take out this Burrower's health, but this is still alright. Okay, taking out the Spirit Hunters. Um, you should ignore these Defenders, or maybe you can hit them if you want. Uh, as long as this burrower is not doing anything dangerous, that's okay. So these days, defenders are just dying. So this was a, these these were bad days to summons. Um, Ultra Cool has a lot of power, and it doesn't look like he's fixing to be attacked. So it's probably safe for him to take a well. Um, his opponent takes a well, so now Ultra Cool should. Uh, well, Ultra Cool also took a well. Um, 
We've got Scythians to take out defenders. Um, you can just run with them. He just wasted 75 power, and they're not going to do anything. Uh, so, yeah, attacking them is probably better, but if you want to, you can just run. You need to be careful of this wall. Okay, good Sun Shredders. Um, and the aggressor's going to take care of this Skyfire Drake. I think if you ravage him, the aggressor can't actually kill him. Um, but yeah, alright, so these are good. These guys should probably heal up and then go in and attack. We see Burrowers are coming out. Ultra Cool has a lot of power right now. Um, depending on his confidence levels, he could go tier 3 right now. Um, or he can launch an attack, and I advise launching an attack. Um, generally, you want to like fish for your opponent to make some sort of mistake, and after that happens, then you can go on an attack. There should be, uh, I guess, Skyfire Drake here, or maybe, I don't know what MK Frost has, Fire Frost has. There should be something that to counter this Burrower. Um, don't just let him hit at the well. Um, but now there's two wells, so Glacier Shell doesn't work so well. It still works, but not as well, because they can move over and hit the other one. So you, you don't want a Glacier Shell, like, immediately wait until it's half health and then Glacier Shell. Um, good Skyfire Drake. This Drake should be oinked, by the way. Um, by Idar, should I think. Um, this is an interesting tactic to put the units on top of each other. I don't know if it's intentional, but the advantage of them being on top of each other is the Skyfire Drake Splash will hit both of them, and then that'll make the heal more efficient. Because otherwise, you should concentrate on one unit. Um, this attack, beat it out. Otherwise, because if you have, if the, the heal is spread out over both, then he heals both of them, but if you concentrate on one unit, you make Dar heal more frequently. Um, good Rage Claws. By the way, earlier I'd have advised him spawn Rage Claws instead of Skyfire Drake, because the Skyfire Drake is a little susceptible to being oinked. Um, and he should run away now that this aggressor's here. Meanwhile, okay, so this Skyfire Drake has, uh, that's pretty good. I don't know that he needed to come all the way over here, because it's a little far. He could have continued the attack from over here, um, but he's realized that the Skyfire Drake's a little useless against the aggressor combo, so this is fine. Again, Ultra Cool has a lot of power. Um, he can maybe take another well, or he could even, because there's a lot of power bound up in here, and these are not going to kill his base very fast. So Ultra Cool could probably get away with a tier 3 right now. Um, it's not the safest option, maybe. But he can get away. I don't think he needs to because I would say he's winning right now. Um, Ultra Cool has good control of the map. That was a great eruption. Um, if you're facing a Frost Flash and there's a strong unit, you should erupt it when you can kill it. Um, this guy should be hitting him so that the shot doesn't get off. Okay, so good defense by Ultra Cool. Um, and I would say it's time to go tier 3 now. Like, no doubt it's time to go tier 3. Um, these guys should come over here and maybe hit the aggressor. Um, he's still not going to do a ton of damage, so just come over here, pop a tier 3, and then launch an attack on a bunch of different fronts. And then, if Dar tries to go... So Dar's already going tier 3. Ultra Cool should have tier 3 first. Uh, but now since Dar's tier 3, Ultra Cool should spawn like a whole bunch of Skyfire Drakes. Um, don't erupt by... Yeah, this erupt was really bad, because it could be healed. He probably got confused because the aggressor takes less damage than normal, so he probably saw that it had less than 300 health and he erupted it, but it didn't actually die because of the the adamant skin. Alright, um, so it's bad that he keeps spawning one fire swan at a time, because that lets the aggressor not come around. He should spawn two at a time, or maybe freeze him and spawn one, um, or maybe spawn... Rage Claws, or he should, he should basically be spawning more than one unit, um, and it should generally be siege, or squad units to make the knockback a little less prominent. These guys should not be so close to each other because the knockback hits both of them. Just little micro things. Um, I don't know why there's a fire sword here. And where did the Scythe Fiends go? Alright, but yeah, Ultra Cool should really go tier 3. He's just sitting with 300 power, and Dar has a lot less power, but he's still tier 3, and he could very well 
Okay, so we got a deep board. This is just gonna be hard to combat. You should have wrote these, I think. They're doing... I mean, they're not doing a ton of damage, but you, can, you should still, like, erupt them. Skyfire Drake dies, and this Skyfire Drake's oinked. Um... Don't bring L units to a L counter fight. Um, this stun can create gets away. If you're wondering what this is, uh, that comes from the deep cord, by the way. Um, the aggressor's still coming. This aggressor should- Ultra Cool has way too much power. Okay. You should- you should never have 700 power in your pool at a time. Um. And Dar takes it well. So this is bad play on Dar's part. Dar has a lot of power, so Dar should win this game uh, right now, because this is not getting up. So Dar should spawn whatever his tier three units are. Um, I guess tremors. Dar should spawn tremors, like a whole bunch of tremors everywhere. Like make a silver one lancer, um, pop a silver one lancer over to here and over to here and over to here and over to here, and then spawn like a tremor or two at every base and Ultra Cold will lose before he gets his turn 3 up. But instead, Dar is taking it slow, um, doing a deep thing. I don't even know why you do that. Uh, lots of Irish Knights are going to be very good XL counters. Um, this Sunken Trader is still whacking away at the base. He's not doing a ton of damage, though. Um, and these Rage Claws should do something else. Overall, this match has been fairly good at seeing attacks at both places, but there's also like little small micro problems, you know, just like letting the Rage Claw sit here before you do something. We've got a Skyfire Drake attacking over here. That's good. This guy should come over and erupt it. Um, oh, it's still it's still getting down. Dar has also been not protecting his stuff. We've got a Core Dredge. Um, I don't know if this is useful. A couple of trick here, maybe? Uh, this guy should be hitting this well instead of the monument. But, I don't know if a core dredge is... Uh, I guess the dive from splash attack. Uh, I don't know if a core dredge is really useful because I feel like two tremors is just better. Um, at any rate, Rage Claw is attacking here. Um, if these get the Rage built up, that'll be very strong. Um, and this is a glacier shell that's good. If this will, if this if this monument falls, that'll be very uh, well. It does fall. That'll give Dar an a, ch a chance to go on like an extreme offensive and try and wipe everything out. Um, he should use his like special ability to kill everything, or I guess not because the corner judge got out. Um, yep, these rage claws have not been dealt with. So they're just going to do a whole lot of stuff. Um, if you're nature, you should have hurricane to deal with rage claws. Um, if these guys get raged, yeah, this will be. Uh, this freeze was this freeze was completely unnecessary. Okay, this was possibly the most unnecessary freeze ever um, because spirit hunters are. Why are they purple? Um, but spirit hunters do damage. Um, for their poison. So, even if these guys are frozen, they're still doing almost the exact same damage as they would otherwise. Because Spirit Hunters do like 192 damage, which is terrible. They do 192 damage without their poison. So, that's like 192 damage over 20 seconds that you saved by freezing. I mean, the poison will wear off, but it's, it's not that. Yeah, eruption right here. This should be erupted. Don't give him a chance to Cobalt Trick. Although he clearly doesn't have Cobalt Trick in his deck. And he should. Yeah. Okay, good eruption. It was late though. Um, these guys should not be chilling here. Uh, come over and attack something. Alright. But now, Ultra Cool is the player that has uh, Tier 3 and his opponent is only at Tier 2. So now Ultra Cool should go on a Hyper Offensive and try and knock everything out before his opponent gets his... before this gets built. So Ultra Cool has 20 seconds that he can basically do whatever he wants, um, except that there's going to be a freeze. So he should attack on two fronts. Um, where did the core dredge over here? Okay, so that's good. He's attacking on two fronts. Um, this is good. So 
at this point, I'd say Ultra Cool has sold me one, because now he's doing what he should be doing. Uh, Larish Knights are good. Uh, Rallying Banner, I think, should happen here. Otherwise, you're just killing them. Uh, Rally Banner here. Um, for Tremors, that's good. That's good. Uh, this aggressor has been chilling there the whole game, I think. Not been very good. This guy died probably to a freeze and stone warrior shatter. I didn't catch that. Um, and this is gonna drop. Very good. And so now, again, Dara is at tier 2. And Ultra Coach should be, should be able to finish out the game. Um, this Rally Banner should probably stay here. Uh, to keep ground present, but these tremors should be moving. Uh, this stone warrior, I don't know why he's attacking by himself. Um, I guess there's two coming. The aggressor is once again chilling here. Uh, that's just 150 bound power that's wasted. It's like a, a well and a half dead, because it's just sitting there binding 150 power. We see a freeze just for one unit. Um, probably a waste. This Cordred is retreating, for some reason. And these tremors are still saying they're not doing anything. I'm not sure why he, the aggressor is running from one tremor, because an aggressor beats tremors. Um, a gladiatrix would be good to kill him, but I don't think Ultra Claw gladiatrix in this deck. Okay, this Cordred ran away to defend this. Um, that's a bad idea. Don't, don't, if you got a strong attack, um, Storm Warrior's ability is very strong, by the way. Um, so, if you have a stronger offensive than your opponent, it's almost always better to go on the offensive <clears throat> and make your opponent come back to defend. Because if you attack and your opponent, if you attack your opponent and your opponent attacks you, then you'll just kill your opponent faster. So, if you guys have seen the game where I played that I lost against the Shadow player that used Mo, that's what happened. Is that I was pretty much lost, but my only chance was to go on a counterattack and try and kill as much of my opponent's stuff as I could. In this case, it's even easier to do that because you got a core drive that's 225 power, that's going to kill things faster than a Stone Warrior. Um, and Ultra Cool has got a ton of power, so he can spawn units at his base to defend. Because um, it's easier to spawn at the base than otherwise. Um, tier 1 against Tier 3 large units is not uh, not so effective anymore, because these are Tier 3. Um, you know, that was like 200 power. He, yeah, he spent like 200 power, you could have just made a core Drudge, another one. He's probably out of charges, though. Um, we see there's an aggressor coming here. Why did you build these? these this was... Okay, this is 200 power wasted. Um, just asking to die. So, yeah. This is the sort of tier 3 stuff that... Um, these wells... I don't... Yeah, you should... Okay, you got 400 power. Finish the game. Like, at this point, there's so much power that tier 2 is actually a good idea. Or tier 4 is actually a good idea, I'm sorry. Um, and these tremors should... I guess this is fine. Um, they should run away. No. Okay. Merger just frozen. Um, Rallying Banner and Ice Barrier is a little unusual. Um, once again we see this aggressor attacking. Uh, lots of spams from tremors. Um, they should use their ability. Come on, use that ability. That was a terrible one. And if you used your ability, that would have been like four eruptions worth. I don't, I don't know how much it is. Um, okay, not four eruptions, but they should have used their ability. Um, fire, yeah, firestorm to attack. You should not be relying on firestorm as your tier three L counter. Uh, that's just poor life decision. Silverwind lancers are good. Uh, Virtuosos are good. Nagma Hurls are all right. There's lots of options. Okay, this well was a terrible choice. It's got 61 power left. 
So you spend 100 power to get 61 power back at the end of it. So you're going to be down 100 power for the duration of this well, and you're going, you know, yeah. You get what I'm saying. You're not going to get 100 power out of this well. These guys should move and attack something. Um, the stone can player is, okay, I guess you just destroyed this stuff. Um, okay, cool. Uh, so that's a game. Ultra Cool clearly won, but it looks a little bit like Ultra Cool quit. So I don't know what was going on there, but yeah. I hope you guys found this replay instructive.